Hey everybody, it's Todd here, and today we are going to take a trampoline, a 12-foot trampoline, and put a dome tent over it. Now, I have twin boys who are 15, and they have autism, and so they're kind of losing interest in the trampoline that they used to love so much. Now, getting back from Burning Man, I noticed all the geodomes and all that stuff, and I thought, you know what? That'd be really cool over, over a trampoline. A huge all right, tent. so basically what we have is I went out and I bought eight 10-foot sections of three-quarter inch PVC and then I bought two of those connectors. Notice I drilled a hole right there because we're going to connect that one to that one. Here's something you should know. There's two grades of PVC pipe and one is called the contractor grade and one is called I don't care about you and I hope your sprinkler system dies as soon as possible so the contractor can come back and fix it. So this thin walled PVC is the things they put in your yard and the contractors put this kind in their yard. Get this guy. Talk about some hardware. Basically I've gone with the big eye bolts and they're about three dollars a piece. Now you could use like a one inch PVC, drill some holes in the bottom, and slip it inside of the three-quarter and use that as an anchor. But I've decided to go a little heavier with this. Also going to need some zip ties, and I'm going to use right, some This bolt. is the way we're going to attach the PVC and the dome to the trampoline. So I went with big eye hooks, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the PVC and slide it over the top. Now the reason I didn't bolt this in place and I use strip ties is the fact that if the PVC breaks for any reason, the last thing I want is a metal shaft sticking up on a trampoline. So if it does break, it will stop and flatten out like that. Did I mention you should clean up all the dog poo in your yard before you start this? Yeah, yeah. Do that. All right, we have put up the frame. Um, my wife helped me on this one. You're definitely going to need some help because it's incredibly awkward. Uh, don't worry about the lines above it. They are not power lines. They are cable lines, which is a good thing. And now I have got the parachute that I'm going to throw over it. Now, there is one issue, and that is the fact that it's not that stable. But there is an answer to this. I'm going to put the parachute on anyway just to see. But if you can follow my finger, all right, so if you come down here and you start here and you put another arc in and it goes up and falls short of the top and goes over and goes back down and connects back to the frame, that and one on the other side, that is supposed to make this incredibly strong. So. We will see how that works. But first, the parachute on the existing frame. Okay, here's the good news. I put the supports in. Here's the bad news. I still have the slump. But I am going to, well, because I didn't use a lot of math, uh, I am going to consider the slump an aerodynamic feature of this structure. So there's the slump. So the wind would come here and flow over... And off the back, that's what I'm going with. I think I'll have a right, cocktail. Let me show you the inside. And what kid would not want to hang out in here? And there's the little vent up on top. All right, so this is how it goes in my house. I have made a fort. There's the fort right there for the boys. So they can get in there and have a boys fort. I go to the store for 10 minutes. And you want to see what the women in my house did to me? Welcome to Alibaba's <laughs> luxurious Arabian tent. Um, we're talking scarves hanging from the ceiling, highlighted by Christmas lights. I have no idea that we had this many pillows. And I don't think they're all ours. The blanket, of course, and because of the fact that there's Christmas lights, there is power, which means you could come in and bring your laptop and take a snooze or get rid of the kids and spend a night here with the person you love. Anyway, it all comes down to one thing. Uh, the kids love it, and that's why we did it. it costs about, I don't know, say 30 bucks for the hardware and all the uh, PVC. 
And uh, the if you scrounge, if you scrounge for a parachute, I'm sure you can find one. I've seen them online for like 40 bucks. Most of them are a little, maybe a little more expensive. Um, fun project. Uh, I'm going to see if it lasts the winter, maybe with some plastic tarps. But anyway, there it is. That's an idea to reuse your, your uh, trampoline and get your kids interested again. And uh, make sure you check out my other videos. They're stupid, too. Uh, if you have any questions, just keep it to yourself. And uh, thanks for watching. My name's Todd. Ciao.